Hello, I'm Rabbi Elton from the Great Synagogue in Sydney, and welcome to From the Rabbi's Bookshelves. Our book today is a collection of essays by Rabbi Dr. Isidore Epstein, collected under the title Jewish Faith in Action. Rabbi Epstein was the principal of Jews College in London from 1945 to 1962 when he passed away. He was born in Kovno in Lithuania in 1894, and he came to Paris first of all, and then he came to London. And uh, he was able to uh, learn from both traditional teachers and in the more modern environment of Jews College in London. He was a student, then a teacher, and after a time in Middlesbrough as the rabbi there, he eventually became the principal of the college. There's a nice story told about him when he was in Middlesbrough. He was a very great scholar, and he would always try and increase his learning and his knowledge. And one day, the president of the synagogue walked past his house at midnight and saw that the electricity was on, and the synagogue paid for his electric bill. So they said to him the next morning, why were you up so late at night using our electricity? He said, I was learning. And they replied, we hired you as the rabbi because we thought you'd already learned. So turn the lights out earlier. Rabbi Epstein published many uh, scholarly papers as well as popular books such as The Faith of Judaism, which is a, a layperson's guide to the Jewish religion. And when he died suddenly in 1962, his students decided it was appropriate to collect some of his essays, and these were published eventually in this volume. Now, he shows in this volume his mastery of the entire rabbinic corpus, his enormous breadth of knowledge of rabbinic material, but also he shows a modern approach as well. And uh, the essay I want to talk about is called The Religious and Psychological Motives in the Halakha, Roy Yochanan, and Reish Lakish. These are two very important Talmudic figures, and they have interesting backstories, because Reish Lakish was a bandit. He was a gladiator or some sort of uh, robber on the road, and he was found by Bar Yochanan, who persuaded him to leave his evil ways and become a teacher instead, and the two became very close study partners. In fact, they became brothers-in-law. Now, already in the 1930s, scholars had tried to investigate how, let's say, economic circumstances or political circumstances had affected the way rabbinic figures ruled on particular issues, bringing a historical perspective into Jewish study. Uh, but Rai Epstein, in this study, wants to go one stage further and wants to look at how psychological or religious impulses uh, change the particular perspective and therefore the rulings of these very important figures. Now, this was quite radical uh, at its time and even now because there's an idea that the holders of the tradition, the Talmudic rabbis, were simply passing on traditions which they received from their teachers. And there's a resistance to the idea that they brought to bear their own personal motives, psychological or otherwise. So here is a, quite a radical and uh, certainly innovative piece of analysis by Robert Epstein. Let me read you uh, a little of his analysis. He says that you can see in the two uh, great figures a difference of uh, approach. Rabbi Yochanan is more lenient and Reish Lakish is more stringent. Why might that be? So he suggests this is probably because they have these different backgrounds. Rabbi Yochanan was always religious, whereas Reish Lakish came from a more uh, a problematic, troublesome background and was trying to get away from it. So he says this, might not the results of Reish Lakish's early experiences upon his mind have been a loss of confidence and trust in himself and a fear of relapse into his former evil ways and associations. So Roy Epstein is suggesting we have a more stringent approach from Reish Lakish because he is trying to guard himself from any relapse into his former ways and therefore he wants to impose very strict standards upon himself. But whereas Roy Yochanan, who is more relaxed because he comes from a more consistently religious background, is able to be more lenient. One can accept that or not, but it's certainly an interesting new perspective on some very old debates. Thanks for joining.